depreciation methods. So far we've talked about straight line depreciation, which measures the life or usage of the asset in terms of years. Now let's look at units of production, or the production method, where we measure the life of the long-lived asset in terms of hours, or units of use. So, same facts again. We have the cost of a machine is $15,000, but its life, instead of being four years, is going to be 120,000 machine hours. And its residual value is still 3,000. So, what we're going to do is we're going to compute the depreciation similarly to straight line. And remember, straight line was cost minus salvage over life and years. But now under units of production, it's cost minus salvage over the life in hours. So, the cost was 15000 The salvage was 3000 and the life in hours is 120,000 hours. So what is our depreciation per hour, or how much do we use per hour? 10 cents. So 12,000 over 120,000 is 10 cents per hour. What we then do is we'll make that depreciation entry at the end of each year. And that looks like this. In year one, we're going to take 10 cents, our depreciation amount per hour, and multiply it by the actual hours we worked. And in year one, we use the machine 50,000 hours. So if we use the machine 50,000 hours at 10 cents an hour, that's $5,000 of depreciation. So that means we're going to debit depreciation expense credit accumulated depreciation for $5,000. The balance then in accumulated depreciation machine at the end of the first year is $5,000. In year two, notice that we're going to be using the machine 40,000 hours worth. So in year two, when we get around to doing the adjusting entry known as the dead entry, it's going to be 10 cents times the actual hours, 40,000, which means in the second year, I'm going to debit depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation for $4,000. The balance now in accumulated depreciation at the end of the second year is 5 plus 4 or $9,000. In the third year, we can only depreciate 3,000 machine, 30,000 machine hours. And the reason is, is we cannot depreciate beyond its useful life, which was what? 120,000 hours. So in year three, regardless of whether we used it 50,000 hours, 40,000 hours, we can only depreciate it to its life. So in year three, 10 cents per machine hour, 30,000 hours means that we will depreciate it $3,000, meaning accumulated depreciation now has a balance of $12,000. So at the end of the third year of life, even though uh, we may continue to use it, notice the machine has a cost in the account called machine of $15,000, and its accumulated depreciation machine account, which is immediately after it, because remember, accumulated depreciation is the contra asset account to machine. It shows its usage. Now has a balance of $12,000. So the machine's book value, or net book value, is $15,000 cost, less accumulated depreciation of 12,000 so it will stay on its on the books as the at the machine's residual or salvage value which we determined was $3,000 until it's sold or disposed of